welcome back to this week's video on youth. My name is Lydia. And I'm Emily. For this week's video, we are going to interview Mr. Ming. Hi Ming, nice to have you here with us. Would you mind giving us a short introduction about yourself before we start? Hi everyone, so um, my name is Ming, uh, also known as Ming King, but people call me Ming would be easier. I am an actor, I'm a drama teacher, I'm an MC, I'm a producer, I am a VO talent and I have so many more things. Yep, wow. that's why. So cool, there's a lot. So, right, so let's jump right into our interview. So, how did you first start with your careers? Was it like an unintentional opportunity? Which career are you talking about first? Uh -huh. Hmm... Maybe your acting? Hmm. Acting. Uh, I would say it was something I always wanted to do since I was young, since I was like 14, 15. Uh, but I only really got into it when I was interning for a production company. And uh, I met this I met this person. Uh, she was my boss. Her name is Lao Nga Yuan. And uh, I told her, you know, one day I wanted to act. You know, she asked me what I wanted to be. I said, oh, I want to act, you know. I said, oh, okay, okay. Uh, never mind. I'll keep you in mind. Uh. Uh, a few months later, there's a project coming up. I'll, I'll, I'll call you. And true enough, I thought she forgot about me because I was just a PA, a Gucci rat. But then she called me and said, hey, we're having an audition for this musical. So, uh, so, so we thought of just having you, you know, come in for an audition. Lah. So, okay, I went in. I did not know what I was doing. <laughs> but in the end, I got it. So that was my that was my in into the whole industry. That was back in two thousand and seven. Wow, yeah. that's so cool. Okay, yeah. I see. Yeah. So, um, you know, since the pandemic happened, right? How did you practice your acting and talking skills at home? Oh, um, it's been a bit difficult to be honest because I mean, obviously, you know, we can't really act. Uh, but. At the first lockdown in MCO 2020 last year, the, fir the very first one, a group of you know my my like-minded friends who are actors and producers and whatever not, uh, we actually got together on a weekly basis, like two to three times a week, and we actually did a Zoom, Zoom, uh, what do you call it? Zoom improv. So one one or two person would always come up with like Zoom, sorry, improv games, mm -hmm. and then we would just play online and we'd just be acting it out and just having fun with each other. Wow. Yeah, and we do it like two, maybe three times a week, uh, usually at night. And we did that for a while. And then after that, you know, it expanded to another, uh, we branched off to another group where we did script readings for a bit on like, I think Sunday afternoons for like, so two hours of our time would just be, you know, discovering a new play. And then we just read it together. We assign different characters for each other and then we just read it. And then that was the first MCO. Like. Then the second and third MCO, we kind of dropped off the radar. But we, I guess for me, what I did was I kept myself busy by doing self tapes for auditions, you know, auditions for like, you know, uh, upcoming roles or, or TV commercials and things like that. Yeah. And let me give you a little insight, okay? Uh, ask me why I wanted to become an actor in the first place. Okay, why? Why do you want to be an actor? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, it's because I was. I was very lazy <laughs> and because I, no no, no I, I'm not kidding because I was very lazy back then uh, when I was like 14 15 years old and, uh, and I didn't know what I wanted to do you know for, for a career because at that point in time you really had to start thinking right so I thought you know what uh, I, I, I I acted in a play a uh, small little skit in church one day like, you know, and I enjoyed the process and then after that the whole the whole skit ended there's someone one of my church members walked up to me in one of those old uncle auntie like, Oh, you can act, I'm not bad, I'm very good, are you? And I was like, oh, I'm not bad, I'm more. People say I can act, oh, maybe I should actually try and do it as a career. Oh my god, I think that'd be fantastic. Because I mean like, actors, they don't have to do much, right? All they have to do is just like, you know, memorize lines and then sit, wait for their turn and then act on stage or act on screen and then finish, right? And then you earn a lot of money, you can be millionaire. So, um, so that was what I, <laughs> so that was what I thought. Uh, and that's why I started pursuing acting. Yeah, no. <laughs> the, the truth was, was was far from the, the 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 reality is far from what I imagined it to be. Because I mean, to be an actor is actually one of the hardest things in the world. Yeah, there's no other career that has a success, that has a failure rate of like over ninety percent. So before we end, shall we do our best impression of Thor's and Quill scenes from Avengers? <laughs> Uh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Let me just, let me just be very, very... Okay, uh, disclaimer to everyone who's watching for, who's watching this, okay? Um, we're just gonna try our best and we're just gonna have fun with this, okay? 
So yeah, so no expectation. This is not Hollywood. This is not uh, this is not Oscar-winning performances or something like that. It's just two people or two friends having fun. Indeed. Okay, okay I'm gonna count you guys in. Okay. Yes. Director Sila. <laughs> Three, two, one, action. Ah, as guardian of the galaxy, back together again. Oh, we're too fast. Hey. Just so you know, this is my ship, still. I'm in charge. Uh, I know, I know. Of course you are. Of course. See, see you say of course, but then you touch the map. It makes you think that, you know, maybe you, you didn't realize that um, <clears throat> I was in charge. Cut! <laughs> Good job. Hey, Lydia, I didn't know you can act, huh? Not bad, uh, huh? Sikit, do you want to leave a message to the youth who are watching this video? Um, hey guys, your future is still very much very far ahead of you, okay? So do not just waste time doing nothing useful. In fact, guys, if you have so much energy, just dedicate the time to just learning as much as you can, upskilling yourself because guys, in the next 10 years, you'll realize that all the skills that you've learned in this, in your youth, will be very, very useful in the future, for sure. Thank you so much. And thank you for your amazing sharing just now. It makes me want to jump right into acting again. And so that's all for today. Thank you, Mr. Ling. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Lydia. Thank you, Emily. Thanks for having me around. Thank you. And that's all for today, folks. Bye. Bye. Bye.